I melee him like four times in a row and kill him. Defeat Sepix perfected and use your hard-earned skeleton key on his loot-filled chest to get this year three Shadow of Veils. What, that's not Shadow of Veils? Oh, I guess it is white, not blue. Is it an ornament for Shadow of Veils? It's its own sniper. You mean the effort eats spear? Swear to God, Jazz, if you don't just get on with this video, I'll unsub and then kill myself. <clears throat> Ladies and gents, I present to you the Devil's Dawn Max Impact Sniper Rifle. You might recognize it from such archetypes as Black Spindle and Zen Meteor. How good is it? And what's with that weird scope that's not short gaze or ambush? Well, let's break it down. It's time for science, and yes, I will be changing my name legally to Dado after this video. You'll notice that there's no scopes, only ballistics like the Black Spindle. So I did some side-by-side -side comparisons with Short Gaze, Ambush, and the Black Spindle scope to gauge the magnification for myself. That's right, Bungie, you can't hide nothing from this guy. Because if it zooms in too far, then it's just not viable in PvP. So here's what I found. I placed my crosshair on the tip of this spiky thing in the Plague Lands technical term, and I switched between all the scopes. Ambush and Short Gaze both have a zoom factor of 4.9 times. When I switch to the Devil's Dawn scope, the zoom is exactly the same. Pay attention to this rock line along the bottom here. Notice how it doesn't move when I change between the three scopes? Now when I switch to the Black Spindle, which has a slightly higher zoom factor of 5 times, the rock line moves. By the way, don't be put off by the sides of the scope changing slightly. Each scope refracts things on the edges a little different depending on how much black stuff there is. And yes, black stuff is the scientific term, thank you. So in summary, the Devil's Dawn scope is actually the same as Short Gaze and Ambush. Um, yes, huge win for us because this makes it viable in PvP. And considering A, Longbow slash LDR type snipers can no longer kill high armor targets in super, and B, flinch is so effing high now, you usually only get to take like one shot per ADS. Max impact, low rate of fire snipers are back in style, baby. Back in style. Don't believe me? Well, in the background are clips that I got in one night playing with this puppy. This is me going on a mad spree in Pantheon. This is me getting a collab. This is me one banging an arc blade, no problem. Yeah, you wish your longbow could still do that, don't you guy? <laughs> but the real icing on the cake here is that the Devil's Dawn always drops with quick draw. No longer do you have to run Blade Dancer with quick draw to be a god sniper. This puppy has it built right in. And the ADS speed feels quite snappy, like a snappy little turtle fresh from his tiny egg. Not only that, you don't need to spend all of year two grinding a nightfall boss or opening packages to find it. Longbow synthesis, kill yourself, Shax. <clears throat> Sorry, we had a little, uh, had a little cough there. It's just one skeleton key, one dream, one sniper. What more can I say? If you like to snipe, get this sniper. I will now put a small montage of clips together of me killing plebs without remorse. Maybe some cool music, maybe not. JK, of course the music will be good. I need you to keep watching this video. Watch me forever! <clears throat> Let's begin. Oh, that is gross. I missed him with my swing. <laughs> He's even killing me, man. <laughs> oh, that is so disappointing. Oh, Jess just pumped that guy. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, what the hell is this, man? Yeah, I love it. Dude, this thing is actually really good. What are you doing, kid? Why would you? North lane. <sighs> I'm not doing it. Yeah, if you want to like a quad. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna like push people like that. <laughs> nah, this is definitely no hawks at all, but. <laughs> Stuck me as well. Stuck me. Alright, I gotta go to freaking. Cheerio.
Marie. Oh, that thing fucking got. <laughs> yeah, three, two, one, now. Good it is destroyed. Oops, I really want to go get that actually when I get enough legendary parts. It's so satisfying. Hey, man, he was like shoulder charging away from me. I love it how like I get freaking shotgun melee whenever that I get that stupid sprint mock, but they're just like. See this? Welcome to Phil Winter's Peak, where Bungie left a sneaky jumping puzzle that leads to a dormant Seaver cluster in all the wealth, glory, and majesty of the universe. I made the second part up, but man, is it frustrating to be beaten by your own X button. Here's how to avoid the biggest traps and make it to the top ASAP. 